Now in this video, we're gonna cover the Android gingerbread update for the Motorola Atrix 4G. Now supposedly the update came down today and you could either update it one of two ways. You could update it with an over the air update, so you have to check the system updates for that, or you can go to the Motorola site. We're gonna try the easier way to do it and that's the system update route. Now I got my main home screen here. I'm gonna hit my menu button here and I'm gonna to go to settings. Then I'm gonna scroll all the way down here to about phone. And the first thing up top says system updates. I'm gonna click on that. And it's checking for available update, please wait. Okay, here we go, it says system updates, update available, AT&T free message. A new software update is available for your device. The size of the update is 160 megabytes. Please connect to Wi-Fi to download the update. An optional software update 4.5.91.en.us 161.3 megabytes is available. Plug in the phone to ensure the battery is not drained during the download. It is also recommended to download over 3G or Wi-Fi. Well, I'm not going to go much further into that because obviously I want to download it and I have pretty good battery on the phone as it is so I don't think I have to plug it in and I'm already on my Wi-Fi from my house here. So I'm going to hit download here and right now I'm on Android version 2.2.2 and it's downloading up here in the notifications icon up there and what I'm gonna do once it's downloaded I'll join you back up here and we'll load it up on the phone okay it's hundred percent downloaded and it says copying update okay it says install update update 4.5.91.en.us has been downloaded and is ready to install installation will take several minutes all information on your phone will be saved. Your phone cannot be used during the install. Upon completion, the phone will reboot and then function normally. Please note, emergency calls cannot be made during this update. Press install later to be reminded again in one hour. Of course, I want to install it now, so I'm going to hit install now. And here we go. Okay, the phone is rebooting, it appears. Okay, here we go. The phone has rebooted, and right away I know a couple of changes here, and I know I got gingerbread going on here. Up here, the top bar is now dark. It's no longer light, and there's a different look to the screen here. All right, I'm going to unlock the phone. I'm just going to swipe my finger up here. There we go. And wow, uh, the phone looks quite different actually now. Obviously, I still have my background there. But uh, there's a couple different icons here. The browser icon is different. The camera icon is different. The photo gallery icon is different. And the text messaging icon is different. And now I have a dock on the bottom here. Okay, I get a little screen here. It says, update status. The software update was successful. Your phone has been upgraded to 4.5.91.en.us version. Sounds good. Alright, uh, so I have a couple new icons and I have a dock down here and it appears as if I have seven home screens. Yep, I got seven home screens here. I can tell because at the bottom here there are um, little dashes under the dock here which tells you the representation of uh, what screen you're on. Okay, and up here, as you can see, the notification bar up here is dark. It's not light anymore, and let me pull it down. And, oh wow, look at that. That's a cool effect. When you pull down the notification tray, there's a transparency to it. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, now down here on your dock, this new dock feature here, you have four icons and you can make them pretty much anything that you want. Right now there's some default icons here, but uh, the way you change them up is you just long press on one of them and then you have your list of apps that you can choose from here. And I'm going to put my text messaging app down there. I think it should be under text. Right there, text messaging. Just select it. And now it changed from the email app to my text messaging app. Pretty cool.
So now with this new dock here, I end up with a couple of duplicates on my desktop here. So I have the text messaging app here and the text messaging app there. So if I want to get rid of that text messaging app, or at least the shortcut to it on my home screen here, I just long press it. And instead of dropping it down below like it used to be, the trash icon is all the way up top here. So you just bring it all the way up top, and there you go. All right, let me go to the app tray here and a little bit different looking than it used to be. I have this uh, title here where it says all apps. I guess I can filter those. I can filter them all apps, recent, downloaded, and AT&T. So I can filter the apps a little bit. And I can tell Gingerbread is on here because when I scroll this up, when you scroll to the extremes on Gingerbread, you notice that, that lighting up at the bottom to tell you that that's pretty much the end of it. Gingerbread launched in December of 2010, and it's finally coming to the Motorola Atrix in July of 2011. So, a little bit late, but hey, it's a welcome addition to my phone here, because it actually looks pretty cool here. Let's go into the settings here. Now, all the icons have changed, and let me hit the settings here. And now this is white. It used to be black. So, um, let's see, let's go to About Phone, and it says Android version 2.3.4. Now, I know Motorola had some problems with the gingerbread update to the Droid X, but uh, hopefully I don't experience the same problems with this phone here. So far, I really like the way it looks, but there's a couple things that have been added under the hood that are improvements. One of which is the gallery here. Let's click on that and see what it looks like. Okay, so it looks pretty cool. It looks like there's a bunch of uh, uh, scattered pictures there. And you can go through it. Let's see, it says add social network. So I guess you can uh, up upload your pictures directly to your social network. It says camera roll, my library, friends, online, and DLNA servers. So there's been some changes here to the gallery. Also, the music app, let's go to that. Let's click on the music app here and see what it looks like. Okay. Music player, get fresh music news, concert events, and song recommendations based on the artists you play. See and preview the music your friends are playing and share the music you love by posting to social networks. Indulge your music passions with artist photos, biographies, discographies, music videos, and more. Get access to your MP3 library, internet radio stations, and podcasts all from one convenient location. Discover new artists and shop for your favorite songs from a vast music catalog. So there's definitely some changes here, and this is unique to Moto Blur, uh, which is Motorola's Android skin. Uh, the next page here says you can sync music to your mobile device and start listening right away without sharing any information. If you want to get live music information like song recommendations, news, and artist biographies, you need to agree to share your music activity. So basically, I guess you could either link this to your Moto Blur account or uh, link it up to maybe Facebook or, or uh, some, some other social network. So that's pretty cool. Now also included in this update is faster web top browsing. So if you have one of the docs that you put this into, then uh, it should speed that up for you. It also includes full 1080p video playback. And now you can dismiss one notification at a time. So in your notifications here, you can d dismiss them one at a time without actually having to go into them or dismissing them all at the same time, which is pretty handy. So that's pretty cool. That's Gingerbread, finally, on the Motorola Atrix. And one of the characteristics of Gingerbread is when you put it to a sleep mode, it has this cool effect here. Very cool. So that pretty much does it for this video. I will see you next time.